Georgia versus Bama, boys. We're going to show you kind of a new ebook we're dropping today on our school community. Uh, our school community has been absolutely popping. We got a ton of members over there. We've been dropping a ton of content. We're actually doing a live lab session tonight for all of our members. And we have over 10 offensive and defensive ebooks with more ebooks on the way. We're going to be dropping our Georgia offensive ebook later today on our school community. And wanted to kind of give you a little preview in the gameplay. Now, Georgia, what's unique about Georgia is they're probably, they're obviously one of the best teams in college football 25, but they don't have the most important ability, in my opinion, to play good defense in this game, and that is quick jump. So to me, I don't think Georgia is actually a very good team. Their quarterback is kind of inconsistent. Um, I definitely think Bama and Texas are way superior. Ohio State is really good. Um, so anyways, with that in mind, we're using Georgia and we are playing Bama. I think Bama is probably the most all around, like the best all around team in this game, but we'll, we'll see how we do. So we're just showing off the new offense and we're not going to do any subs or anything like that. I don't really feel like we need to. So we'll see what, what, what's coming, what, what happens. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're going to start out with a play Flood out a bunch. Love this play. Just a little high-low read here to the left side. Force him to defend the flat. Force him to defend the outside flat. This guy, Delp here, this tight end for Georgia, he is probably their best. Not their, He's probably their best tight end for sure. Georgia's offense is fine. Their defense is really where, where things kind of tend to, tend to take a toll, honestly. All right, so here we're going to run a little, little post combo. What's really cool about these wheel routes is if you stem these wheel routes, I really like stemmed wheel routes um, and basically using them almost as flat routes. And then I love stemmed in routes. I think stemmed in routes are one of the best routes in this game this year. Stemmed in routes, even the speed out is really good. And then the cool part about George's playbook is you have a lot of stuff around bunch. Like it's not just bunch. You have the cluster. You have um, you have bunch flex, which is kind of like bunch tight end. You have just a lot of stuff uh, in this playbook. Got a little simple read here to the right side. Get that crosser back can't. And see, that's where like Georgia, honestly, they're just their quarterback's definitely not as good as Milrow. They, they there's just a lot of a lot of reasons why this team is is not like the best team, but they are a good team. They are 100% a good team. So looking out here, I wonder if I can throw that. Yeah, that's another thing. You can throw those wheel routes kind of – those wheel routes are kind of unique. You can kind of throw those against a lot of different things. The other thing that Georgia has uh, going for it is it has a lot of really, really good like red zone type scheme. So you have this tray open. I think this tray open might be the best red zone scheme in the game because it has a good run and it also has like really good routes. Let's see if I can hit the C route. For a touchdown, very good. But you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of really really cool little just little basic good red zone plays, and then you also have like you have good red zone plays. You have obviously bunch. We know how good bunch is, and then you have kind of some really good complementary plays with this team. But they're and this uh, the cool part about Georgia, I will say. They definitely – I don't know how I didn't get my feet in there. They definitely have the best defensive playbook. They have the best defensive playbook, but they don't have the best defense. Okay, that's an important distinction. So they have the best defensive playbook, but they don't have the best defense. The reason why is because they don't have any quick jumps. Quick jump, in my opinion, is literally like the most important ability in this game. And if you have quick jump, it's a lot different than if you don't. So I'm going to be running – I'm going to mess around with this 335 mint. I might jump into Penny too, but I've been trying some different things out of 335 mint. We'll see how this goes uh, today. But what's cool about 335 mint is this overload three sky press is a very simple defense. I, I, that's my next defense that I want to release on our school community. I've already got the blitzes up there. I just need to get the uh, like formation breakdowns and stuff. So what's cool about our school community is we do have a lot of ebooks, but we also have a lot of like – what I call like conceptual content. So like we have pro tips where we show you different pass protections, like just different things that can cross apply regardless of formation. Uh, and then we also have a, a whole entire library of effective blitzes. And in that we have a lot of formations. We have over 10 different defenses in there that have effective ways to consistently get pressure from it. So Really, really happy with kind of how the school community has started to go for us. I feel like it's been helpful for a lot of people. It's a bad user. 
And I will say, like, this is probably with with if you play college football twenty five without quick jumps, like especially if you're playing an ultimate team, I feel like it's probably the hardest year for defense I've ever seen. And the crazy part is, if you have quick jump, defense is infinitely easier. So it's like a big force force multiplier in both directions. I think this, honestly, I will say the most the reason quick jump is such a game breaking ability as well is because. If you, ha- like I said, if you have quick jump, you're infinitely better for it. And then if you don't have quick jump, you're infinitely worse. It's actually going to make a bigger impact, in my opinion, than set feet lead did in uh, the previous titles of Madden. Like I think that's how big of a deal quick jump is in this game. Uh, because without it, it's just almost impossible to get a stop. It's like super difficult. It's a hit stick. I thought he was going to juke inside. But these are just kind of my, like, I don't know, general general thoughts. There are ways to get pressure without quick jump. I do think 3-3-5 three, three, mint is probably the best defense. Either 3-3-5 three, three, mint or 3-3-5 three, three, mug is probably the best defense in the game without quick jump because it has a lot of loop-type pressure that is really, really good. Looks like he's just going to onside kick us every time. So that's that's always fun. Always fun to play. Always fun to play a game like that. I go to Z spot. I think Z spot is super good. I feel like the hot routes are really slow right now. Can I throw that post. Very good. Easy. All right. Now we got to get our two point. I did not get the two point last time, so let's change that. I'm actually just going to do a little simple high-low read, honestly. This whip, very good. Get the two-point, got to get a stop now. I think I got ball first, too, so. Yeah, I did get ball first, so he, he does get balled half. He's going to stay in the trips. I might have to change up my my defense. I don't love the way that defense plays trips. The kick returns, bro. The kick returns. I hate. I hate. I'm just gonna start kicking deep. I, I can't do this. The squib kick thing. The squib thing it just literally doesn't work for me. All right. Let's go back to three three mint. Let's see if we can get this to work. What I like about this 3-3 mint, too, is it's like a very simple defense. The one thing Georgia is good against is the run. I will say, like, in a run-heavy game, like, this game is, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't actually call this a run-heavy game, but it is a run-heavy game. Is my entire team just kind of dumbed out? That's not cool. That's a cloud. He threw right at me. He threw right at me. I'm I'm starting to think, like, soft squats might be better than cloud flats in this game. I don't know what a cloud flat defends, honestly. I'm going to use this safety. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's mine. No way. Bro, that was my stop. That was it right there. He threw it at me. Look at this. A little instant replay feature on PlayStation 5. Look at Starks. (laughs) That's terrible. Well, we held him to three. There we go. That's all we need. So if you think about College Football 25, what's really interesting, especially, again, like I said, if you're playing without quick jump, if you don't have the quick jump ability, very good. Field goals are hard. Skill gap. That would definitely be me if I was in his shoes, though. Okay, so if, if you don't have quick jump, you can now basically, not only can you not get pressure, but it's ridiculously hard to stop the run in this game, too. So, like, what can you stop on defense without quick jump? Like, with quick jump, at least you – you kind of limit the passing a little bit because you can get pressure, you can force turnovers. Without that, you know, what can you actually do? Oh, I went to the wrong one. Let's go to mesh. This mesh play is probably the most – I think this might be the most underrated play in the game. Watch this corner route just fry. Easy. Spin. Can I juke? I can juke, but I can't spin. Awesome. Awesome. A little smash return here. Smash return is such a good play. I 
Little high low reads, just simple high low reads. All you got to do is get high low reads, baby. All you got to do high low reads and then have ways to beat man coverage. That's pretty much offense. And then in this game, you can just run the ball. Like literally, you can just run inside zone. Inside zone is like super hard. Like, like I'll show you here. So I'll go to bunch. I actually need to be flipped to do this. But this inside zone, watch the blocking on inside zone. See how they just hold their blocks? It's actually insane. I have this motion RPO. I actually like the, – the cool part about this play is it should be an inside zone type run. We'll just call it. Watch circle. See if we can just out leverage him to the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thomas. They put an RPO in bunch, boys. They put an RPO bubble in bunch. Very good. Cluster has the base. This base is really good, too. There's a lot of run. What I'm trying to say is, like, a lot of different ways to run the ball. <laughs> a lot of different ways to run the ball in this game. And honestly, like, the run is so, is so good. I think people struggle stopping the run in this game. This is probably the best two-point play. Can I put this tight end on a wheel? Let me stem him all the way to the sideline. Very good. Look at that. Look at that wheel. Because when you stem it all the way to the sideline, you can really get a pass lead on that wheel, which makes it super effective against, like, heavy blitzes and stuff. So, all right, we are not kicking. We are kicking the ball deep. We're just going to do this. That did not work. Okay, we'll never do that again. I don't – I just hate what they did with special teams across the board. I don't like special teams in this game. Special teams is not – I just think they're trying – I don't know. I just did not like what they did with special teams. All right, let's go – let's see if I can get a stop here. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to bring this guy over here. We'll try like this. Take that corner away. Give me the ball. Very good. Georgia out here bagging with no no pressure. No blitz threat, but we're bagging. We're bagging, boys. We're just bagging with straight coverage. I'm actually sending five every play, which is kind of hilarious, and nobody's doing anything for me. Okay, let's do this. Let's do flip bunch, and we're going to go to bunch flex. Verticals. Oh, that did not eh, that did not work like I wanted it to. All right, we're just going to go to inside zone. There's so many good stuff, so many good formations in Georgia. Like, you, you can audible around a lot in this book. Corner strike is still a, an absolute laze of a play. Just going to go to the setup of it. Just a simple high-low read with that nice stemmed corner. And I spin in, juke inside. One more. <laughs> yeah, we're out here just balling. We're out here just gaming, boys. Out here just gaming. All right, this is where that RPO should be really good. Short side bunch, low key, is really good because what you can do, let me show you. So I'm going to go to spacing switch. I'm going to use a short cross. I'm going to use a running back Texas, and then I'm going to use the speed out. Watch the speed out on the left. Lays super hard to guard. Like super hard to guard against short side bunch. All right, let's see if we could do. So what you can also do, like let's say like you're in this situation where you don't, you're not able to get out there, you can just motion this guy in. Just motion him in. Now he's got a lot more space to work. Let's see if we can get this open. That's a hard flat. We throw right at it, and it's just open. Speed outs. I, I've been telling you guys, you got to be running speed outs, stemmed in routes. They're some of the best routes in the game. Stemmed corners are good. All right, we're going to try another special team strategy. We're out here just dominate when George. We're dominating the tide, boys. Bagging trips. Why wouldn't we be? This Georgia offense, as you see, is really good, though. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I can't. Dude, I need, I, need, I need someone to teach me special teams. I really need somebody to teach me special teams, bro. It drives me insane. Every year I struggle on special teams. I could teach you offense, defense, but special teams, just give me a way to kick them the ball where they don't return it every time and they don't get the ball at midfield. Like, I'll give them the ball at the 35 every time if that meant 
they could never return uh, for a touchdown. Like, I just cannot stand giving up kick returns. That's why I'm trying to do this, like, squib kick, but I totally can't do it. And I've tried a lot of different ways to do the squib kick. I just – it just never works for me. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I guess it's a, I guess it's a me problem, not a you problem. All right, we're just going to call hike here. Just make a read. Almost their pick. <laughs> I was really expecting him not to be in cover three. Go back to Flood. Old Faithful. Flood is such a good play. Just a simple high-low read. Like, that is what makes – like, that is that is why – it's not the only reason why Bunch is good, but it's one of the reasons. Like, I can just simply throw that simple play – and I can get a nice several yards if they're not hard flatting. I'm going to stem this wheel. Same thing, looking for hard flats, no hard flats. The flats in this game are really good. Like, you should be throwing more flats, boys. You should be throwing way more flats than you're probably throwing right now. Let's see if I can get this to work. Yeah, he's just, play, he's just playing curl flats. So because he's playing curl flats, you can't really, like, I mean, you can kind of try to throw those, but just take your take your underneath. You know, just take your underneath. All right. I'm going to go to verticals here. You should be able just to do this setup. Looking for that crosser. Good throw. I think we'll take a timeout right there. We're just carving. We're just carving, boys. We're just carving. Smash return might have the best out route in the game. Let me see if I can I stem. I wonder if this works. I don't know if this is this setup will actually work well. But I would think it would. Stem corner. Beat main coverage. Touchdown. Very good. Yeah, we're just carving. We're just straight up carving out here, man. Let's go smash return again. Another thing you can do in bunch. Let me try this. Let's put him on a speed out, and I'm going to flip. Now what happens? Nothing. That was a waste of energy. Right, we're going to bring him in and go short cross. We'll just go. That's a hard flat with the right at it. Touchdown. They have to put their corner in a hard flat to defend that route. As long as we don't give up a kick return, we should be good. I'm just going to stand back here. I'm so tired of these kick returns. Look at this game. Look at this game. <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't know why I can't do that. All right. It's going to go Hail Mary. If there was one time we need this blitz to come in. It's here. He's blocking. Humphrey, very good. 38-14. It was quite the half. He's got that dog in him, though. Temp 972-144. Probably going to come out here, see if he can get, get the uh, offense going here in the second half. Or just try to return kicks because Lord knows I can't. Just trying to get over here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Three three minute. Let's see what shells we have. Let's try let's try this cover two shell. See if it'll keep that linebacker in there for us. That didn't work. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Hit him, hit him, hit him. He must be on conservative. Milrow is him, bro. We can't tackle. We literally can't tackle. Georgia just feels so slow, man. I'm going to put a defensive end here. Yeah, the cover two shell I'm never going to do again. Look at, the, look at the slot corner. He's just in Kansas. The fact that they oh, – he actually threw that at me. And that wasn't a fumble. The fact that they they took baseline out of this game, 
It just made the game so much worse. Like, look at this slot corner. Look at the tackle. Did you see the tackle run out there? All right, let's not. All right, let's just audible the pit. Let's just do this. I sent seven. Thank you. Thank you. No. Uh, very bad. And he goes no huddle off in completion. <laughs> what a game. What a game, boys. All right, here we go. This should be a bag. I'm going to press this, dude. It didn't work. I lost. I got him. This Munden dude is a dog of a user, though, I will say. He's super fast. All right, let's see if we can just keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. Let's go. Let's try the C route. A little double post combo. I love C routes this year. I think C routes are going to be really good in Madden too. Also, if you guys didn't know, we are we do have a college um, do have a, a college football channel, and we are posting every single day on on college football. Not only on our main channel here, but we're also doing it over there. The reason I wanted to bring that up is because when Madden drops, we're going to be posting Madden on this channel and college. Tips and stuff's going to be on the college channel. Let's we'll see. Look at that cross, that deep cross. That's a pick? I felt like I had a ton of space. Yeah, this quarterback. I think it's this quarterback. I really do. All right, let's do default. Let's just try default. Let's just try default. Yeah, we'll never do default again. Look at the – look. <laughs> look at my slot corner. Blitzing from Kansas, and look at the tackle go out and perfectly pick him up. <laughs> this game, I, I don't understand the game. Uh, I don't know what to do with my uh, – look Look at my linebacker, dude. There we go. There we go. Uh, he's running some weird stuff, boys. I don't know what to call – I'm going to try crashing. Let's see if we can get this blitz to work, man. This blitz should be so much better than it is. It's because they don't have quick jump. If they have quick jump, this blitz comes in. That, was, that should have been a touchdown. Is that not a touchdown? All right. I don't know what. Maybe cover four? Yeah, it's a little better. I don't know. I should be triggering here. Yeah, it's just it's just impossible to get pressure, dude. Like, like, gosh. All right, we might have to just go straight coverage. I can't get the blitz to come in with this team. I thought of all the blitzes that would work, it'd be this one. Give me that. Oh my gosh. And also, you can just throw whatever you want. This run D is actually goaded. Oh, I didn't think you would pass. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so bad on. I'm so bad without quick jump, man. I'm a quick jump made. Maybe that, or maybe just defense is bad without quick jump. I should be able just to slide this dude out, dude. Chambliss is like literally fifty speed. Like I'm not even kidding you. He's like legitimately fifty speed. Knockout. All right, onside kick time. How'd we know? I will say that drive took him literally the whole third quarter, so. Ben, but don't break. Very good, Thomas. Back to the bunch. Drink the punch. Corner strike might be the might be the play. All right, that's not. Dude, if you flip in this game, they just screw you on the stemming. You just can't stem. Got to be a dot. That's got to be a dot. I just, dude. All right, we're having a little bit of. Actually, I think that's my second pick in the second half. All right, whatever. Gosh. 
Now we gotta now we gotta get serious here, boys. I underthrew the corner out. And I, I think the crosser too. Like this quarterback just so an uh, underrated tip is throw power. So like throw power for quarterbacks, one of the most important ratings is throw power because throw power determines how like basically how hard the ball comes out. So the higher throw power you have, it's more like it's like having a velocity ability, basically. From what I can see. All right, we're gonna go to this tray open. I think this tray open is really good. Running back, dude. I see. This is what I don't understand. Like, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so you if you send five. Objectively, the pressure's worse. Watch this. Look at that. You might as well literally just send three play coverage all game in this game. I'm starting to truly believe that. Like, if you don't have quick jump, just try to get a shed. Because I think sheds are actually good. That was so bad, bro. I keep wanting to call cluster, and I keep accidentally going to the... The wrong thing. Oh, running back Texas route. Okay, that Texas route is like, the, oh, I've never seen a Texas route. Get that bagged. Carson protecting the ball. All right, we're going to mesh here. Kind of need a dot. When I need a dot, I go to this play. We'll see if old Delp can be open on the left. Nope. He's literally dropping his entire team back in coverage. Big Carson Beck putting the team on his back in a key situation, a key moment. I really like stemmed in routes like all the way down, like a two yard in route. I don't understand what's going on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't I don't have any idea what he's doing on defense. I literally could not tell you what he's doing. I like these are the most random defenses I've ever seen. Dot. That end route from Smash Return is so good. All right, we're going to go bench pivot. I'm just going to drag the tight end here. Look at that speed out. These speed outs in this game are so good. Like, even if it's from, like, this bench pivot type of speed route, it's not as good as the actual speed out, but it is. So what you could do here, guys, is you can go short side bunch, put this guy on the left on an out route, that speed out. And then you could stem this up. So, like, you could stem it up to, like, 10. Watch this out route. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. This quarterback can't throw. I, he it came out so late. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. All right. New game plan. New game plan. New game plan. 3-3-5 three, three, mint. We're going to go cover three cloud. We are just going to pinch crash down. And this dude is going to get manned up on here. We're just going to chill. <laughs> We're just going to chill. I'm going to I'm just going to send 3. I'm not going to switch stick. We're just going to play some fundamental ball. Fundamental ball. <laughs> this game. Dude, they won't let you win. They will not let you win this <laughs> This game, it does not let you win a game. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. All you have, all you have, like, look at this. I can't do anything. I can't move. I'm frozen. I'm sending the spy. He's not sending. Look at Milrow just outrun everyone. Uh, okay, that is not the move. Let's go to a different thing. Let's go to Sam Mike 3, wherever that is. If I could find the play, I could run the play. Let's go. Sam Mike 3. We're just trying to keep Milrow in the pocket. That's all we're trying to do. 
Look at that contain. Look at that contain, not contain. And then look at Milrow just throw it on a rope. I don't know, guys. I just, I'm just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, boys. I don't know. There are days. I knew that was coming. I hard flatted. And he gets a two point convert. Two, two, this, this game is so frustrating, bro. Frustrating. All right, Thomas. See what you got, buddy. I, I actually do believe there's DDA in this game. Like, I don't think that about Madden. I totally think that about this game. I think there is. Because, I mean, look at how the second half played out. This trip side end is like the most underrated form. Big Carson. Dude, Carson on the ground has just led his team. All right, he's calling timeouts because he can get a stop. Okay, I'll show you something cool you could do. So you go to cluster. I'm pretty sure you can do this. All right, I might have to actually call the play. I'm going to call timeout. This is why this is a good play to have in your audible. So if you go to cluster, um, I don't really need this run play. I'm going to use this play spacing. Uh, spacing? I think you can do this. Look at the out route. Oh, dang it, we lost. Never mind, this out route's terrible. It's not the speed out, is it? Shoot. All right, we'll just call mesh. Yeah, we're going to get a delay. Uh, dude, the ga they make these auto motion plays so dumb. The problem is there, I didn't want the auto motion, but if I hot route the auto motion, I get a delay a game anyway. So I was like, okay, I'll just call it. <laughs> this RPO outplay though is it this play is good. So it's a, it's the speed out. I'm gonna stem this up one tick. All right. I might be done talking about speed outs this game because it's just it's just not working. <laughs> Even though it's wide open every time. So what you should be able to do here too. I bet you I could do this combo and this will work. So I'm going to isolate this guy on the speed out, and then we're going to clear out. Can I stem the tight end? I should be able to stem him. I can't. Okay, we're going to just do this. This out route's open. There. That's what I've been trying to show you. <laughs> we finally completed a pass the second half, and to our team, nonetheless. But these speed outs, especially if they're isolated, I think getting them to 10 yards is even better than the five yard. Because it gives them a little bit more time to set the route up for man, as you see. And then they're just open. They're just free. So, like, you're, what you want to do – I'll call timeout here. What you want to do is you want to run your speed out to the wide side of the field. So when you're in the middle of the field, it's not, like, the best. But when you, when you can run the speed out to the wide side of the field – and they have space to set up that super rounded, sharp cut. I think it is so, so good. Another thing you can use this for is a pull route for like a running back streak. Like as you see here, kind of have some different reads here. Red zone, I would stem this up one tick. You're basically reading that corner. If that corner sits on it, you don't throw it. See here, he's in a third, so I can throw it. Very good. But, yeah, that's the Georgia offense, guys. It didn't look great in the second half. Um, but I think, honestly, it was really just more like bad throws. I had a lot of stuff open. So sometimes that happens, right? But we're going to be teaching this on our school community. School. By the time you watch this video, this, the ebook is probably already out. It's school.com slash Cody Ballard. That's the link. I'm just going to run cover four if the game will let me. Pinch, crash down, show blitz, shade down. To me, this is – I want to spy that hook curl because he's going to run with his quarterback. I need to find, like, like, like basically, like, Milrow defense, like specific defense that's designed to make it so that Milrow can't scramble. I feel like Penny can do that, but ultimately I feel like if you don't have quick jump, if you don't have speed, you know, so I'll show you something else. Let me see. I think I could go to Trey. So if I go to, like, this Trey open, this is like a trips tight end type combo. But what you could do here, you streak the circle receiver. So you're running four verts. 
but you're doing that, but you're tagging the speed out. And so what you'll see here is it's a kind of a tight throw, but it's actually super open. Like if you can make that throw, that throw is available to you. But then like, let's say you mo run a lot of like motion out, like deep attack and stuff like that, like motion out bunch plays. Then what you can do is you can motion this guy out as if you were running one of those plays, put him on the speed out, stem him to about 10 yards. And then it doesn't really matter what you want to do on the rest of the combo. But something like this, and then you'll see against man coverage, he just gets super open. Like he can't stop it. When, if we get a good throw, he won't ever stop it. And then let's say every now and then you can – there's just so many things that the speed out like opens up your offense. It really does. It's really good route. So I'll show you here. So like now we leave him isolated. So we could go speed out, and then we can actually go like – like a deep crosser for man. But you see here, rounds out, perfect throw, perfect catch. So, I mean, you see, I mean, these are just layup throws. We're on deep attack here. Let's try to throw post for a touchdown in the last play game. Pew! <laughs> Dropped it. Thanks for watching, guys. That is the game. If you guys want to check out the full ebooks, they're all available on school. School.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up to that is going to be in the description below.